Today I'm gonna to show you how to throw a Frisbee to your dog. Now, if you already have a dog that likes to play fetch with a ball or something like that, you're a step ahead of the game. There are a lot of good reasons to teach our dogs Frisbee. I mean, number one, it keeps them in good shape. Secondly, it's fun to play, they enjoy it better. And third, it just looks cool. There's also three things to remember when throwing a Frisbee. Your grip, the rotation of the Frisbee, and the release point. I'm gonna show you how to do all those things real quick right now. Just remember to be patient when doing this. You're not gonna do it overnight, but if you practice at it, you'll be throwing a Frisbee like a pro in no time. I'm gonna show you how to throw just a basic backhand Frisbee throw right now with the proper grip. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, I have two major grips that I like to use when doing a basic backhand. This is how probably 99% of people, at least in the Frisbee dog world, throw a basic backhand. And it's good, it's, uh, it, it's not a bad way to throw. I'm holding it like this. I am not holding it like this. Do you see that? I've got my index finger here. This is not the way to do it. Really common mistake. Just putting your index finger right there on the inner edge will help you a great deal. The reason is it gives the Frisbee a point to launch off of your index finger so it spins a bit more. And they're being so good, look at them. They're all waiting very patiently to play Frisbee. Uh, we're going to play in just a little bit, but right now I need you guys to stay, all right? You're being very good. So what I do though, since I've you know, kind of mastered throwing a Frisbee pretty well, and, and I, I gotta tell you straight up right now, just about everyone in the world will tell you never throw a Frisbee that way. It's wrong, but I'm gonna explain why I like throwing it. This is the grip that I use to throw it far. I mean, I just, I grab the thing like this. But remember, that's because I've got the perfect release point uh, internalized, memorized. But the reason this helps is that when you throw it, and you release it off all four fingers, you probably get 30% more rotation. The faster this thing is spinning, the farther it's gonna go. We've got the grip down, we know we wanna rotate a lot. Now let's talk about the release point and the angle of the Frisbee. Uh, the natural tendency, if you haven't thrown before, is to release it flat. You know, in other words, just to kind of throw it straight. But remember, it's fairly light compared to the wind and everything. So ideally, if you can release it at an angle right there, what that's going to do is that's gonna, at first, make it curve. That's what we're trying to get the Frisbee to do in our heads. And the reason that is, you'll find that once you start snapping it, once you start getting that release point perfect, it's rotating, it's gonna straighten out beautifully and go perfectly straight. If you start getting really good at releasing it perfectly and you're throwing it horizontal, it's just gonna veer off to the right. Now don't feel like you've gotta to throw to your dog every time that you wanna practice Frisbee. Just get a stack of Frisbees and throw them. If you're wondering, by the way, these are Nyla Bone Frisbees. You can get them at your local pet supply store. Uh, I like working with them. They have a nice weight to them. They're hard to puncture, so. Check them out, made by Nylabone, good Frisbees. So that's just a quick lesson on how you throw a Frisbee. If you like this video, make sure you like it, leave a comment, and maybe I'll make more. Uh, let your friends know, post it on Facebook. And last of all, like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash thezachgeorge, and of course, subscribe to my videos as well. Okay, talk to you later, bye.